Hey man, right off the back, as you can see, I'm listening to A Long Walk by Jill Scott. She left Earth on that song. My mom put me on that song like a very long time ago. She was just playing all the time. And I literally just thought of like a great idea in my opinion. You know niggas do mom reacts, mom reacts. Yeah, I'm definitely not doing a mom react video. But what I would do, because I think my mom uh, has some interesting uh, music taste. Would you guys be interested if, if I had my mom to make like a monthly playlist of songs that she's listened to as well? So you got the Eric playlist and the mother playlist. Let me know. I think that'd be an interesting little concept. But happy New Year's. It is the first first of the month. Get up, get up, get up. It's the first of the month. It's the first of the month. It's also the first of the year. It's also the first of the decade. It's the first of a lot of things. So without any further ado, because I usually just start these right away. Let's get right into it, man. Um, a lot of these have backstories, so we're going to not waste your time. Let's get right into it. Uh, Left for Dead by Lucky. Man, it's no backstory. This song is just amazing. It's been stuck in my head literally from the first of the month to the 31st. This is such a great song. My list, I didn't, uh, little baby, Left for Dead. Uh, I already know you cap. I just want to know what's on your head. Hey, this nigga Lucky was sliding on this song. This album is amazing. It's literally like the replay value is out the roof. <laughs> Shout out to Lucky. Um, Fruit, shout out to this song right here, man. I remember he, like, previewed this song one time on Instagram. And niggas like, bro, where's this song at? And he finally dropped it. Really good song, man. Shout out to Pee Wee Longway, man. Long way, long way. Um, Change Lanes. Now, Change Lanes is where the story begins on, the, like, a lot of these backstories on a lot of these songs. So, I heard this song before. But... Uh, I was going to Art Basel. I went to Miami this uh, month or last month, rather, and it was, a, it was a good time. I was thinking I'd make a video on it. Didn't really make a video on it, but it was a good time out there. A good time for sure. Better than L.A. And uh, yeah, I was in a car for five hours going there and five hours going back. So I heard a lot of music. Heard a lot of music I never heard. Heard some music that I heard before. And I was like, oh, I really like them. Let's put it on here. Change Lanes is one of the songs I've heard before. And I was like, yeah, let me put it on here. This is a pretty good song. Shout out to Kevin Gates. Uh, then I heard Immortal. I heard this... <laughs> On the uh, Mortal Kombat snippet, but I had never heard the full song. I know it came out, but I never bought list to it. Oh my gosh, bro. This nigga was sliding on this whole song, bro. Nigga made a Mortal Kombat song. Just dropping everybody name, bro. I thought this was a great song. As a, as a UK nigga would say, this is brilliant. <laughs> it's brilliant. It was brilliant. I love this song. Um, then we go to Gentleman. Not really for sure where I heard this song at, to be honest with you. Probably somewhere out of, I don't know where I was, but I was hearing songs from everywhere and I was hitting the Siri, do you know this song, you know, letting it play out. And uh, yeah, I heard this song. It's like, ah, a pretty cool song. So I'll put it on here. So, hey, <laughs> you guys got some music that I'm pretty sure you never heard before right there. Uh, Roddy Rich literally dropped while I was in Miami and I literally didn't know anything while I was in Miami Like it was so much stuff going on. I had no idea about but I knew about Roddy Rich dropping his album And nigga we played this in the car like just driving around we let the whole album ride out I'm like bro. This album is amazing. This is the one that first called me because it sounded like thug a lot with the perfect time But I'm still ducking one time it Sounds so much like thug so Hey, I reviewed this album. You guys know I love it. It's on my top 20 albums of the year list. Um, Diana, they played this in a Asian restaurant. Nigga, when I mean this Asian restaurant, nigga, they had everybody in that bit going up. We had just left a club that was terrible. A nigga literally said, y'all from Florida, right? Y'all want that real Florida music? And I was like, yeah. This nigga played Tame Impala. So yeah, that sums up that club that I was at. So we left, went to this Asian restaurant. Nigga, they had this junk going up. I don't know who the nigga in the back playing the Oscar was, but this nigga was in his bag. He played this song. I'm like, nigga, I'm in a bit vibe. I'm like, bro, what is this? Fire song, man. I got to check out this dude catalog, whoever Paul Annika is. Hey, this old white dude was sly, man. And then we go to Bad Bitch. Now, Bad Bitch. Well, let me skip that real quick. Stick Up. That's a, a song that was literally played right after the Diana song. And, nigga, I was like, bro, am I in an Asian restaurant or a club? Because, nigga, I don't know who this nigga is, Lil Bean, but this nigga was off of Bean. This nigga was sliding, man. And then the boy, I think he from SOBRB. Boy, he, well, that nigga had a verse, boy. Hey, this whole song, if you just want niggas just rapping, no hook, these niggas just rapping, bro. Gosh, bro, this song was amazing. Shout out to that Asian restaurant. I should have got the name of that place so I could shout them out. They were wilding in there. Uh, curse words and all. I was like, bro, this is amazing. Uh, but then we go to Young and Ace Bad Bitch. Now, I've had my... Uh 
I've had my uh, things to say about Young and Nave's music, but I think he's improving a lot. Uh, I, I did some videos with DJ DJ Shab, shout DJ Shab. Uh, but yes, Young and Nave's Bad Bitch. This is an amazing song, bro. I'm not gonna lie. This is the one, bro. Want me a bad bitch? Deep bitch. <laughs> Got me a bad bitch. Hey, she kind of classy, but she ratchet. Hey, bro, nigga, this song was played so many times in the car when we was driving around. I had never heard it before, bro. I'm like, bro, this is fire. So, yeah, I love this song. It's definitely one of my favorite songs of the month, man. That's why I was out here, man. So, shout out to Young and He came through for real. Um, Another song that I found out and never heard before, uh, this Corner No Now song, or have you say it, with Lil Pump and uh, Il Alpha. Bro, this is a Spanish song, and I don't know why I like this so much, but the beat hitting the nigga, Corner No, Corner No, Corner No, 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 Corner No, Corner No, Corner No, 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 He just speaking Spanish, then Lil Pump come through, rapping in English, and it's just like, bro, this is crazy. Hey, not the hugest Lil Pump fan, but he did his thing on here, and Il Alpha was in his bag, man. Hey, good song. I almost did a Pimp Daddy Eric over this, but... I was like, nah, Big Stepper, do I gotta talk about it, man, come on, bro, I love this song, man, thank God for all of these blue faces, I barely done made it, man, I love this song, bro, this is great stuff, talk about it way too much in my album review, go look at that if you wanna hear how I feel about Big Stepper, um, G shit, whoo, shout out to Trayvon, man, he, threw, he played some uh, throwback Webby, come on, bro, this is amazing, I grew up on this, bro, real Florida nigga, bro, real, you ain't a real Florida nigga if you ain't grew up on Webby and Boosted, bro, you want G shit, and I'm going to give it to you, and I'm going to give it to you, man, man. It's that classic hood north side music. I'm a real north side nigga, man. It's that, nigga, if you went on the north side in 2007, 2008, nigga, 2009, and all you ain't here was Boosie and Webby, you ain't no real north side, nigga. You was somewhere on the south side, man. You know what I'm saying? You was somewhere on the south side in Mandarin, nigga. He was in Orange Park. All right, I'm getting to too colloquial with the with the with the terms niggas is lost now we're mandarin you know? we're in the sea and niggas don't know what mandarin it is man hey niggas from jacksonville know what i'm talking about so yeah shout out to webby man legend hip-hop legend he made his album at 18 bro man I, I might have to make a video about how webby's underappreciated he made that album at 18 bro with hits bro with songs like g shit what else on there um he got the song with bum b on there bro he got hold on do i gotta go to this bro i might have to go to the album real quick bro because niggas i think niggas forget bro you know what i'm saying full of that shit with boosie girl get me that mm. i mean that's as as uh come on bro come on bro girl get me that mm -mm. Girl, give me that. Hey, man. This is so many classic stuff over here. But, hey, that's for another day. Shout out to Webby, man. Uh, Crunk Ain't Dead. I could not add the explicit version here for whatever reason. But amazing song, bro. Another song. All these songs, by the way, that I'm showing you, most of them that in this little row were found out about because I was in the car and whatnot. And Crunk Ain't Dead, I uh, heard this plenty of times, but they played it. And I was like, bro, this is amazing in the car, bro. This nigga was pop locking all in the video. Bitch, I'm about to kick it. <laughs> they, what did she say? That big, that big fucking four be four. Hey, that nigga was wildin' on this job, bro. I'm a gangster motherfucker. That nigga was wildin'. Shout out to boy Duke Deuce, man. He's the future. Love that guy. And I added some more Duke Deuce, man. Grab her. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Love this guy, man. Uh, War Baby. Hey, man. I'm not gonna do it, bro. I love this. I was literally just playing this song today, man. Great stuff. Uh, and then this is like ends the Miami series. It's just stuff I just listened to in Jacksonville. And Pre, man, fire song. Very underrated, bro. SK LaFlair, we need some more of SK LaFlair, bro. I think that was Frank Ocean Cousin. That nigga was in his bag on this song, bro. That nigga was wildin', man. And then you got Earl came and missed me with the bullshit. But SK LaFlair was going, bro. That nigga whole verse was flames. Niggas was asleep on that, man. Lotto, um, I, I don't know, maybe you see her on the channel soon, but this is a fire song. I'm not even doing this because I might be interviewing her. This is a fire song, bro. Lotto, you lucky if you hit the Lotto. She was sliding on this song. Like, I forgot Miss Mulatto could actually rap. She was rapping on this song. So, if you want to hear, like, a female rap really good over, like, some, like, hard Atlanta-type beats, man, there you go right there, man. 
Tomorrow, Raw Wave, bro. He is my MVP of 2019, bro. He's great, bro. He is great, bro. This is such a good song. The way his storytelling, like, the way he started telling a story about how the, 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 the nigga in the Black Acura did a, a drive-by on his chopper. He died with his pistol in his pocket. Like, bro, what he said, his, his, his old lady over his face try, uh, trying to heal the bleed and to stop it. Like, that whole verse, bro. And then he talked about the white dude pulling him over. Bro, this guy is special. Love Rod Wave, man. He's good, man. Um, Rich Forever, more Roddy Rich. Bro, do I gotta bro? This is just a Roddy Rich month for me, bro. As you can see, I've been listening to a lot of Roddy Rich, man. I don't even gotta talk about it, man. He's great. Wait for me, Hall of Notes. Want to say this is played on Mr. Robot, aka the best show to ever air on television. We'll talk about that another day. But yes, uh yes. I mean, shout out to Hall of Notes, shout out to Mr. Robot. Two goat things. That's I me. Mean, hey, two goat things. That's all I gotta say about that. Heroes and villains, also a thing that may have been played on Mr. Robot, if I'm not mistaken, and it was pretty fire. Uh, shout out to the Beach Boys. I've been meaning to like, tap into more of the Beach Boys because I feel like I like them. Uh, I'll do that one day. I'll do that one day. Doesn't last. Shout out to Rari if you watch the uh, podcast, the controversial uh, nigga known as Rari. He showed me this song. And yes, man, Rock Marciano is just a great rapper. He rhymes every syllable he can, and it's always fire. So yeah, shout out to uh, Rock Marciano, man. Fire, fire, fire. Beanie and the Jets. Uh, no idea why I had it this. But uh, Elton John was in his bag on this. <laughs> that's, that's the moral of the story. Elton John was in his bag on Beanie and the Jets. And I low-key wish I was in rap beef with Benny the Butcher just so I could drop a Benny and the Jets bar that I have in my head. But also, I don't want to beef with Benny the Butcher because that nigga might kill me. So, yes, there's that. Um... Can't feel my legs down. Tolliver also could have added anything that he did on that uh, Jack Boy album because he renegated that along with the God and the Savior of New York rap. Uh, Benny Butcher is also saving New York rap, but the other Savior of New York rap, Pop Smoke, man. Who that be? Who that be? Who that be? I think we'll slide on this, but don't feel my main. But I uh, can't feel my legs is amazing, bro. Don Tolliver has not missed with any of these singles, and I am not about to miss any sleep. So I'm about to get into bed. Hope you guys enjoyed this.